The cat has consumed that water with its tongue. I don't care. You're, you, you're basically part cat, I'm gonna be honest. Not the reflex part, but the weird part. I'm just very happy to have water in my life Sounds right there. Sounds good, man. I'm Dan, he's Sean. And tonight, new series. What are we calling it? How much should you pay? How much would we pay? What should you pay? What should you pay? Sure. <laughs> So, new Thursday series. I don't know if you guys like it. If you don't like it, we won't do it again. But we're going to do it this time at least. We'll try something. Let us know in the comments below. Dan's always good to uh, try out something once. At Twice. Least. Three, four. Anyway, so if five you bucks, like it, bucks. put it in the comments. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, you can't afford it. <laughs> put, it <laughs> put it down in the comments if you like this, if you have recommendations of what we could do better, stuff like that. New series type shit. So, what should you pay? There you go, dude. Hopefully those are the same words that you used earlier. We'll find So, it. we're gonna pull out bottles, like this one. <clears throat> and we're going to tell you what... You wanna give some preface why, why we're doing this? Because we get a lot of questions. That's a good point. We get a lot of questions about... People see stuff in a store and they go, do you think I should buy this for X amount of dollars? Yeah. Right? So, we're, just, we're gonna grab a couple bottles down, yep. go through like bottles-ish. There'll be a theme for what we're doing, but we'll pull some down, try to give you our expectations we're gonna of give what you, you think retail, should be. Yeah. Secondary, and then right. what we think is a fair price. Those will be the three prices we give you. So, like we said, put it in the comments if you like it. If you don't like it, <sighs> for real, let us know. But be don't be a dickhead about it. Or do. I like those comments too. Start banning people, dude. Good before luck. Sean sees them. Good I'm luck. Like, no, <laughs> get away. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, tonight we're doing we're gonna do some Buffalo Trace bottles that everybody I think knows and loves, but you might not see all the time. You get a lot of messages about these. Of, dude, Buffalo Trace is one of those types of companies at this point. So good old Sazerac. First bottle, you're gonna go with the E.H. Taylor Small Batch. Um, great bottle of whiskey. Fantastic. It's just a nice sweet mash bill one Buffalo Trace. Oh, yeah. Like Buffalo Trace, this is a good place to go. Oh, like for Eagle sure. Ten, Eagle Rare Ten, good place to go. Right. It's a good jumping off point. Retail price. So when we say retail, we're gonna be talking roughly in Michigan. Yeah. Take that into consideration when we make these videos. Yeah. This bottle, around forty dollars. I was gonna say thirty-eight. Yeah. For some other reason, that was in my head. Yep. Around forty dollars for oh. retail. Oh. Good bottle. At forty. Secondary, around sixty to seventy. Ooh. Mm, okay. So what will we pay for this bottle? Me. Yep. Uh, You're 50. spending your own money. If I walk in, I see one for 50. Okay. Not bad. I would pay 50 for that. I for think one. That 50. 50 for one. I wouldn't yeah. pay 50 for two. I wouldn't pay 100 for two, but I'd pay yeah. 50 for one. That, I think that's my max on this. Because in my mind, I have that as like a 35 to $38 dollar bottle. Know. That's the and thing. And that's where it should live. It is a fantastic bottle okay. in that price range. $50, if you see it, not bad. If you don't own one. Especially if you don't own one. If you don't own one, $50 is not a bad deal. I think 50 is a one. good deal if you don't own one. Yeah. Now, the best we've ever seen, didn't we see a bunch of these in Kentucky for 35 Yeah, I think it was cheaper than that. Was it? Okay, we'll say 50 It's just small. Listen, bottled and bond <clears throat> for $50, and it's good. It's not young whiskey, it's good whiskey. Bottle number dose. I can just take a knee, let Dan talk about this. I'm, I was just... Symphony, dude. There's a symphony. Dan will now. pay two thousand dollars right now for one. <laughs> Can you imagine if I was Mark Cuban rich and just have a lot of those? I wouldn't drink. Any, I, I would drink other things, but I drink that every day. One of the greatest. I'm gonna say this: the greatest forty dollar bottle on the planet. I still hold that. Still holds true for me, for forty bucks. Now, retail, forty bucks. <laughs> Secondary. This got to like over $150 a bottle. One just went for 170. What did you say? This is what makes, this series is gonna be fun for me because you don't necessarily know all the secondaries anymore because they change a little from time to time. You good? You can get out? No, that's asinine. Feel better yet? No. But we're gonna have to talk about secondary pricing and they all went up. <clears throat> good? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I went off the rails on that one, but when uh, I said secondary was 100, okay, so I'm gonna give you. a Say range. it again. I swear to God, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a range on secondary. Most of them go for around 150. Uh, one of them went for 170 on secondary. Elmer T. Lee, normal Elmer T. Lee, not one. Okay. So, Elmer T. Lee, in don't, my opinion, greatest bottle don't, of whiskey ever, don't. forty dollars. 
I mean, it's your price. This is the max Sean would pay for it. You want me to get mine? You should. Sixty-five dollars. Hmm. I pay sixty-five for one in a 55. store. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. It's most I pay. If I saw one in a store, even having sixty a would be a thing for me. You Not consider even considering. Yeah. That's fair. Sixty is a thing for me. Listen, I don't. It is a fantastic product. Yep. But it is not ever, 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 ever gonna be worth secondary price for me. Okay, here's the thing though. This series can't be what we think is worth secondary because 99% of them won't be. I get that. But I I'm saying what I would honestly pay for it. $55 is I think what that's worth. I think worth. 55, I think 55 what? is a good deal on an Elmer. It's worth 55. I think that's a, I'd be happy for an Elmer 55. Secondary, <laughs> everything else. It's, a, it's pretty though. I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty. Let's, we should finish on that. No, I think we finish on the other one. Okay, I mean, people can see it, but yeah, sure, that's fine. I think this is one of the ones that needs the most. How much money should you pay for this on? Splaining, too. Okay, retail 60. Yep. Secondary, actually 80 to 100. Okay. Not that high, honestly. Right. Yep. For what? how bad people want this, secondary is not that high. Yep. Uh, my max price, 60. Mine retail. too. Retail. Yeah. 100%. I will never- I pay retail for it. I'll never pay over $60 for Blanton's. Uh, if it it's is... a store pick, I would pay a little more. Depending yeah. on the store. Let's put it that way. Yeah, 100%. So, store pick, 75. I would not pay 90, which I did. Already which once. I regret it. Yep. But, I think this is literally just a Decent sixty dollar whiskey. Um, I think I, it's a good sixty dollar whiskey if you don't like barrel proof. Because here's the thing: you and me think sixty, we think barrel proof. Because that's when yeah. we can get to barrel oh, proof, yeah. right? I already I talked about it. I think yeah, the nineteen twenties, even rare breeds. I mean, rare breeds not sixty, but it's a barrel proof, you're right? Still there, you got Elijah Briggs. Yes. Here's well, the thing: stuff you get there. I think if you like whiskey and you don't like the high proofs, this is a better one of the better it is sixty dollar nice, bottles. Nice, light, sweet, delicate whiskey. Yeah. But you're paying sixty dollars for a ninety proofer. Yep. You're not gonna get everything that you want out of that price point of a whiskey. I feel, it's 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 just you can do better. You really can. You you can do better. You cannot do better marketing. But I'm just gonna say, <laughs> God damn, do they have some marketing on Dude. their side? Like they got the toppers. You collect them all. I'm best. They're cool. Awesome. Toppers this are cool. Egg. We, we did an entire video about how great of a marketing We will have a video at some point in which we throw one of these Bland's bottles somewhere. Because it's meant to be thrown, it's a grenade. You uncork it and you chuck it. We're gonna buy a brand new one and we're gonna do it at some point. It deserves to be, you don't make a grenade. Yeah, for $60, you pull the pin, it. you throw it, exactly. We can find them for 60 here, which is weird from time. For more often than you'd think. I know it's a hard bottle fight. I, I just think there's too much hype around this. So when I said secondary is 80 to 100 range, yeah. I, people in stores are paying 120 from time to time, which is too much in our You are opinion. not missing anything Here, if you can't find this. There are, what's like a Blanton's replacement? Not high proof. No, 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 it, this is the hard, harder part. Oh. It's gotta be good whiskey, not high proof that you can find. For 60 bucks, if you don't like the proof, if okay. you're trying yeah. to, if you're, the whole point of the, in my head, trying the whole point of Blanton's is, a little bit lower proof. let's relax a little bit. Let's not get all riled up on high proof. You want something a little sweeter, a little more delicate. Nice, yeah, more delicate, like a little softer, yeah. not gonna burn you up inside. I think 1792 products are where to go. You got oh, yeah. single barrel at 90 proof, small batch at 90 proof, and the bottle and bottle at 100 proof, they're all under $50. Oh yeah, just branch out, yep. find some other stuff. Yeah, I mean, we there are plenty of recommendations yeah. to replace this bottle, for especially at 120. You can buy four to five bottles. Can't wait. To, to replace this one <laughs> at that price. This is for the proof lovers. You know, we're just talking about how people, like if you don't want proof. <laughs> this is if you want the proof. You want. What, what you, happened? You, this black. is if you want the <laughs> kick in the mouth. Let's put it that way. This is probably one of one our of favorites, our... period. Oh yeah, hands I down. I, I, even the bad releases we do really like. Mm -hmm. The great releases we love. I forgot I leave the tag on here. Yeah. I'll just zoom it. You guys will be able to see it. It's in focus, I can see that. Yep. This is, I think this is one of the bottles in which the price varies, but because it's batched, yeah. 
So the batches taste different? Yep, 100%. I think that our prices and how much we pay would vary. So let's go retail. $60 retail, 55 or 60, one of the two. Very cheap for what it is. That's the most insane seller ball on the planet. Yes. In my opinion. I don't think there's a one that beats it, this, honestly. At $60, in, in our opinion, this crushes everything. In the world. In period. <clears throat> the now, end. secondary has recently bumped to around 100. It was 80 to 90 before. Okay. Which is still crazy to me. Yeah. One of the best buys on secondary probably. Because some of our better bottles bat way, 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 way up. On price. Yeah. Yeah. Like way um, out of the brackets. Fair price. Stag Jr. This is Stag Jr. by the way. Another Buffalo Trace product. Batch 1. I'm trying to think. If I walk one, in, I see a batch 12 or 13 on the shelf. Okay. Let's pretend you don't have one. Yeah. Most of these, we'll, we'll, we're going to start this with saying... We don't have one of those, and we want one, or we're looking at, we're interested. Now, I paid 100 for one, and I regretted it until I found out that, how damn good batch 12 was. That's the issue. Is it's batch. These batches are so damn good. Uh, blindly, across all, uh, batch 14 comes out, blindly, what would you pay? Without reading a review, hearing about batch 14, or knowing anything. interesting way to put it. Yeah. Uh, 90, right now. If I see one Man, I don't, batch 14 at 90, are, knowing how good these two releases 13, were, right? I think I pay 90 for it. If I go on blindly, you, you going, say going blindly into the next one, I would say 80. Going blindly into the next one. I would pay 80 for one. You think they're going down. You're short the market here. I, here's the thing. They go, on, they go on hitter. bundles. Seven. Hit. Think about batch seven. Great. Eight wasn't that good. Right? Nine. Amazing. 10. Mm. Meh. 11? Pretty, pretty, pretty right. good. Not bad. 12? Ooh. What? 13. 13, also a what again. Lil John came, said what twice, And laughed. then said, okay. I'm assuming 14 be slightly, I don't know, we'll see. It'll be interesting. Well, hey, that's what we pay for bottles that we get asked out a yeah. lot on. If you, um, we're, we'll keep doing this if you guys like this. If you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Check out our Facebook group, Bourbon Junkies. I'm gonna be honest, man. The proof? It's in the pour. I mean, spinning. <laughs> Dude, what if that's... <laughs>